in uh, Leviticus 25, 20, 22. The Bible said, And if ye shall say, What shall we eat in the seventh year? Behold, we shall not sow nor gather in our increase. Then I will command my blessing upon you in the sixth year, and it shall bring forth fruit for three years. And ye shall sow the eighth year, and eat yet of the old fruit until the ninth year. Until her fruits come in, ye shall eat of the old store. That's, and and uh, Brother Joseph, and my dear audience, that's a very reasonable question. If you are God telling the Jewish people to work only six years, and in the seven years the whole entire land take a time off, and you don't work, what are what we going to eat? Yeah. I mean, if we have all you, we don't work. God, the provider, told the Jewish people, here we go. In the six years when you work, I'm going to give you enough harvest from in the sixth year for three years. Which means for the year number six, which you're going to eat normally, for the year number seven, which you're not going to work, for the year number eight, which you're waiting, while you're waiting for the harvest yeah. to come from the land. So God is giving the calendar, you're going to work six years, the year number seven will work, don't worry, you're not going to be hungry, yeah. I'm going to give you enough harvest for the six and the seven and the eight years yeah plenty so you don't worry about that now yeah. let's go to leviticus chapter 25 verse 8 9 and 10 the okay. bible said and thou shalt number seven sabbaths of years unto thee seven times seven years and the space of the seven sabbaths of years shall be unto thee forty and nine years and ye shall hollow the fiftieth year and proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto the inhabitants thereof. Hey. It shall be a jubilee unto you, and ye shall return every man unto his possession, and ye shall return every man unto his family. I got to say something. Two things. You, you, sure. know, you know, that verse is what, you know where that is in American history? Mm -hmm. That's on the Liberty Bell. Amen. Did you know that in Philadelphia? Absol absolutely. Proclaim liberty Amen. to the land and to the inhabitants thereof. Amen. And you know what my daughter's middle name is? No. Jubilee. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Beautiful name, beautiful name. <laughs> but here's the system in the book of Leviticus. You work six years and the seven years is off. You work seven, seven years. That's a 49 year. So the seven of the seven years is off, that's a national, and the following year, which is the 50 years, the year of Jubilee, is another year off. Yeah. What are we talking about? But here's a very, very important thing about the year of Jubilee. In the year of Jubilee, if somebody has taken land from somebody, yeah. the land must go back, right. and the people have to go back free, and that is the year of liberty, as we understand in the Christian and the Jewish faith, as we has been covering in the reading of the scripture. Slave but, or servant or whatever must go free. But let's talk right. about now about the working in the six years and the true understanding of the Bible of slavery. Where we can find in the Bible where the Bible said that somebody buys somebody or somebody sell himself to somebody and the true interpretation to the biblical reteaching of the Word of God. Mm -hmm. In uh, Leviticus 25, 14 and 15, listen carefully what the Bible said. And if thou sell aught unto thy neighbor or buyest aught of thy neighbor's hand, ye shall not oppress one another. According to the number of years after the Jubilee, thou shalt buy of thy neighbor, and according unto the number of years of the fruits, he shall sell unto thee. Notice the Bible does not say that nobody can sell anybody. You can sell. You know who you can sell? Mm. You can sell you. I'm going to hire myself yeah. for Brother Joseph, and I'll come to you. I say, Brother Joseph, yeah. here is a calendar. Yeah. There is six years. We're going to start a brand new calendar here, six right. years. I'm going to come work for you, yeah. and I will sell you myself for six years, $6,000. Right. You pay me up front yeah. the $6,000. Yeah. I get the money. I could not sell you my son. Mm. I could not sell you my neighbor. Mm. I could not sell anybody, but I can sell me to you. Yeah. And the longest I can ever work for you is six years. Now, yeah. what happened is if there's only two years left from the calendar, yeah. I cannot say, well, two years. I still need $6,000. Yeah. No. Two years, obviously, you're going to get, I will get out of you $2,000, which is roughly $1,000 for every year. Right. Just to give an example. Right. So according to the longest, how much time I'm going to be working for you, or if you're going to take uh, 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 my, my sweat, or you take my stuff, if you're going to take my harvest from the land, you can buy it. Mm -hmm. But how much harvest you're going to take is how much you're going to give. Yeah. Of course, there's only one year left, and the year of Jubilee is coming. That's when you get less. Six years, sure. that's when you get more. Right. It's very important to understand that's the calendar of work and the calendar of how much people get from their work. Yeah. Now I'm going to move to another passage, Go which ahead. is 25 and 26 of chapter 25 of the book of Leviticus. Right. What the Bible said. If thy brother be waxen poor and hath sold away some of his possession, 
And if any of his kin come to redeem it, then shall he redeem that which his brother sold. And if the man have none to redeem it, and himself be able to redeem it. Now, if I come to you, Brother Joseph, and I said, I would like to work for you, and I sell myself to you. That's the word sell, is really hire myself to you right. for the next six years. Yeah. And then my cousin, my, uh, 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 somebody in my family, he heard about it. He see, Brother Yusama, why did you do this? Well, I, I, I got poor. I needed, I needed a yeah. job. Yeah. I needed some money. And he said, okay, no problem. How long have you been working for him? Two years. How much left? Four years. He can come and give the money to you, yeah. and I am set free. He can redeem, redeem. me from you. Yeah. Or if I come up with some money, I, I, got, yeah. I receive money. You cannot, according to the law in the book of Leviticus, you cannot force somebody to work for you if he has the money to give back what he got from you. He can free himself. He can free if himself, he gets the money. or somebody yeah. in his family right. can free himself from you. Right. And you cannot say, wait a minute, we have a deal. I pay you six years. No. Yeah. You pay me six years, I work for you two years, and here's your four years back, and I'm a free man. Yeah. That's a very important, the system, the law as it's written in the book of Leviticus. Yeah. Let's go to Exodus 21. Yep. Let's see what the Bible teaches you. Okay. If thou buy an Hebrew servant, six years he shall serve, and in the seventh he shall go out free for nothing. If he came in by himself, he shall go out by himself. If he were married, then his wife shall go out with him. Notice he did not say, some man sold a Hebrew to you. But if you buy the Hebrew yourself to work for you, uh, it's not a lifetime. Yeah. That's, that's when, remember the question we have in, uh, early in our program? Right. Does the Bible allow the slavery of America? No. no. But the Bible allowed another slavery, which is, I'm going to enslave myself to you. I receive the salary for working for you. Right. And you pay me. And the longest I can work ever for anybody is six years. Why? Because... This is a calendar, the calendar of uh, God put in the Bible of work. You cannot work for anybody more than six years. When the years, the seven years come, you have to let me go free. Now, if I come to you without a wife, I leave without a wife. If I come to you with a wife, I will take my wife mm -hmm. and my kids with me. Let's go a little bit deeper now. What happened if I come to you and you give me a wife? Yeah. And notice here some Muslim will look at this verse and twist it. They say, yeah. oh. Uh, the master here, Brother Joseph, is going to twist the arm mm. of the gentleman who's working for him. Yeah. And he give him a wife, so he have children with him, say, oh, now you have to stay with me. No. Mm. If the law is written before the action takes place, it is justice. Right. It's not like, let's add another new band, a uh, right. new statement here in the law. It's already written in the book of Leviticus before it took place, before the Jewish people went to the promised land. Right. What does the Bible say in Exodus 21, 4 and 6? The Bible said, If his master have given him a wife, and she have borne him sons or daughters, the wife and her children shall be her masters, and he shall go out by himself. And if the servant shall plainly say, I love my master, my wife, and my children, I will not go out free. Then his master shall bring him unto the judges. He shall also bring him to the door, or unto the doorpost. And his master shall bore his ear through with an awl, and he shall serve him forever. I choose yeah. to serve you forever. I came to you single. You give me a, 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 a loving wife. I loved my wife. I loved my two, three children I got from my wife during the six years when I worked for you. I don't want to leave you. If I leave, I have to leave without my wife because that was already in the contract. That's yeah. already in the law. Yeah. When you go uh, 45 miles an hour on yeah. a, a street of 25 miles an hour, the law said 20 miles over the speed limit, the ticket's $120. <sighs> If, if a, a police stop you and he said, $120 ticket for speeding, you can say, well, that's not fair. Yeah. The law is already written. Yeah. So are you coming to work for me and you, I give you a wife mm -hmm. and this wife have begotten your children. Mm -hmm. You love the wife. You love your children. You choose to serve the master forever. Here's the deal. He will go to the judges. He will go to the elder of the city. And he's here, brother so-and-so, choose to serve me forever. And he's going to be my uh, bond servant forever. And then, it's not between me and you. Now we have witnesses. We have judges. Uh, you take my ear and by the post and you punch a hole in it as a mark. I choose to serve you forever right. living with my wife.